Hello. Have you wished you could control a microcontroller using a PC? Here we have uh, a complex set of uh, transducers, sensors, and motors, all controlled by a microcontroller, the propeller chip in this case. And once we program it, we uh, use the propeller tool to program it. And once we upload the program to the microcontroller, we then disconnect the programming link. And now the hardware is independent and can act independently. However, all these devices, all these devices on it, have not been programmed specifically to do something. What we have done is we have put a firmware in the microcontroller so that it can communicate back and forth between a PC and the microcontroller via the firmware. And we're using a wireless link in this case. This here is an XP wireless transceiver. And on the PC side, we have an equivalent transceiver. And that's the only link now between the hardware and the PC. But the hardware has not been programmed to do anything specific. We will see the, all the different uh, devices on it in a minute. Uh, the, the way we are going to tell it to do anything specific is via a software program written in a programming language called Robot Basic. And Robot Basic is a powerful language yet extremely simple to use and we're using it to communicate between using the the wireless link between the pc and the hardware to make the hardware do different things depending on what we want it to do so for instance right now we have a software that will make it act like a radar and it's using an ultrasound on a turret and it's acting like a radar. We change the program. We use a different software program now. And it now acts it in a totally different matter, manner. It is now behaving like a keyboard and playing tunes. But also, I can use the hardware to, to interact in such a way that I can start the tune or I can use the software to start and stop the tune. Likewise, another software, and notice I have not reprogrammed the uh, propeller whatsoever. It's the same, the very same firmware program, but because of the software, it is acting in a totally different manner. So now it's acting as if it's an airplane. In fact, if this was on an airplane, you could be you could use it to control an airplane. Right now, we can see there's a 3D depiction of the airplane. There's a compass instrument, and there is a, an attitude indicator, artificial horizon, because we have a compass device here, and we have an accelerometer, three-axis accelerometer, right here, and these are being used by the software to report back the attitude of the whole system and you can see as i pitch and roll and as it turns you can see the compass instrument and the attitude the artificial horizon and the 3d depiction but yet again here's another program that will do data collection and this time it's going to collect data uh, from the accelerometer, it's calibrating right now. It takes a few seconds to calibrate. And then once it's finished calibrating, it's telling me now I can proceed. So now I'm going to move the whole thing. And then you can see now it's collected the data and used it to calculate from the accelerometer data velocities, displacement, and reported on the X and Y axis in a graphical way and saved the data to a file as well.
so for future usage. Here's another way I can use the hardware. This very same hardware here has got motors and so on, could be used as a, a, a robot. So Robot Basic has a robot simulator, and you can see the simulator here, the simulated robot is using its uh, turret, its ranger, to avoid objects and turn around and move. But this very same program, if I now change one number, and this basically is the port number to tell it what's the communication between the PC and the hardware, I can now control this is as if it's a were, a were a robot. And using the Ranger, you can see the motors now are turning so that it's forwarding the robot. If I do that, is now they're turning the robot around. You can see how that changed. Yet another way I can, again, harping on, but it's a very important point. I have not reprogrammed the hardware. The hardware is exactly the same and the firmware has not been reprogrammed, but yet it's acting in a totally different manner. And now, watch this program. This program is to control all the hardware, and I can push the buttons to report. You can see the push buttons. I can turn LEDs on and off. You saw this compass and attitude indicator earlier, and uh, here I can vary the brightness of, a part of an LED. You can see the LED coming on and the brightness changing. Okay, I can uh, change the blink rate of an LED. And I can also change the blink rate, but using frequency generation here instead of uh, time duration like this one. This is a millisecond time delay. Uh, the, um, the turret here is reporting a distance and you can see it in a graphical way, but also it's reporting the distance in millimeters, but I can change that and make it into feet or inches or meters and so on. Now, here we have uh, also uh, three uh, line sensors, infrared line sensors, which react to a black surface, and I can see them being reported as I move the black surface across on that. I can also control the motors individually. I can control them together. This is forwarding, this is turning. I can turn the speaker on, but at the same time, notice that it is parallel. I can have the motors running while I also report on the accelerometer, pitching and rolling detection. Now, you've seen how all this is enabled by different software. So the, the, the very same firmware, no reprogramming, no uploading different programs every time I wanted to do something new, and it's doing different things using the software. And all this is explained in great detail in this ebook, and there is also a paper format. It's, uh, it's called Hardware Interfacing Control Protocol. It's a paper and ebook format from Amazon. And in the ebook, we explain all the programs and how to do the connections. And we show in all the details of the protocol and everything. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And please watch our other videos, which continue on from this one telling about more details about different things such as internet control you can use instead of just wireless you can also use the internet to control the very same hardware via the internet this is in our next video